Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time talking about my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my growing extended family. You know, just taking the time out for yourself, being able to spread love and positivity towards others is towards others as you do upon yourself is truly a blessing so you keep up that good work so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line or two i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the video is being very informative to you or even just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's all greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my videos. And today, this, uh, um... This meditation music I'm using today is called Positive Aura Cleanse. Raise positive vibrations, healing frequency for 132 hertz healing meditation music. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And the video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ogas, remember if something is meant to be for you, it can never be threatened. And it's true. A lot of times, you know, I went since this experiencing this crazy awakening that I've had you know being able to find out you know basically the things that I confirmed throughout my life that you know there were certain things that I connected with with my daddy he was always the you know the mysterious person in my dreams like he's always in the shadows and stuff like that I always used to wonder why am I keep dreaming about this man I thought I was like infatuated but no it was just him trying to tell me that you know what was going on in my life that I needed to know that was being hidden from me and so, you know, going along this spiritual journey, you know, when I was doing my videos, started doing my videos, you know, I would just basically tell anybody who was willing to hear. But it was just the fact is when I started worrying about, you know, started seeing things like why haven't I got home yet? Why am I keep going through these things? And even though there was people trying to befriend me just to make sure you know, they blocked my blessings, and I used to get very pissed about that, like, you know, I was going out my way to help you, and this is what you do, because you were mad, because it was the truth, you know, and people just didn't really want to see it that way, because there'll be so many things that, you know, especially if they were fans of my dad, or, you know, extended family, or whatever you want to call it, but there, there were some ones I got in touch with that were fans, you know, like, very fanatic, you know, and they got mad, and I was just like, listen to such and such song, you hear it, you know, because my dad will put like little Easter eggs in his video, in certain videos, and certain music that you would hear, and it could be bypassed you, and you really weren't hearing it. Because there's a lot of times we can listen to music without actually hearing it, and we can see stuff without we, you know, we can glance at stuff without really looking at it, you know. So it was a lot of times, but I was at fault for that too, because there's a lot of music that I did remember, you know, and it put me, you know, in a in a different emotion like why am I getting upset about this you know why do I you know when I see this you hear this song a certain image comes up and it makes me really emotional and so it was just like when you know you have better things coming into your life you have to be very like I told y'all a few videos ago you have to be very selective about what you put out there you're never supposed to be basically tell people about what what your next step is what are you about to do to bring to the forefront and that was my mistake you know you can't do that until you know when should make sure you have all your ducks in a row and I mean it's something that's about to happen like you already got it out like you have that date and then if you want to go ahead and celebrate it then or you you just basically dropped a bomb on people when it's happening you know a lot of times you have to do that because a lot of people don't want to see those type of things happen for you you know I, I've noticed that a lot you know if you leave that open door to worry about what people are going to put into your life that's where you're giving that open door of hey mess up my blessing you know I didn't realize I do that but it was like well I did that I don't do that now I'm very secretive about certain things you know, I have to be able to keep that towards myself. And that's what you need to do for yourself. Because not everybody has their grace. Your grace 
you know, greatest interest at heart. You know, a lot of times, like your gift and your blessings can intimidate a lot of people. There was a lot of people that, you know, told me, Rosalind, you must be crazy or this is not true. You know, they didn't want to be able to see that. But then there was things that I told, hey, listen to this or look at this, you know, and then it was like, wow. And a lot of things was making sense the way, especially the things that my dad said. You know, there would be people in his circle. And I would tell them and then they were just like, OK, now we wonder why. Because there were certain things that my dad would do like in, in his circle. And they were like, oh, OK, why would you say that? And now when I tell them this is the reason why he said certain things like blah, blah, blah this, that and the third. And they were like, yeah, now I understand. Yeah, you know, and there's. You know, it's just, it's a blessing where I can be able to fill in the blanks for things that, you know, people that was close to my dad. It was, he was like, wow, I would have never known. Because, you know, there was people that was around my dad for like 20, 30 years. And my dad was very selective about the things that he put out. My dad was very private, you know. So it, it's just like when you know you have blessings in your life, you know, you're heading towards different goals and stuff like that. You know, me being able, you know, I look at my situation. It was people very close to me that, you know, even my mom's ex-husband, he always wanted to know, you know, oh, what what's going on when I told him, you know, hey, I talked to lawyers. It, things got really skittish when I told him that because I never thought when I first entered this journey, he and his wife had a lot of stuff to do with that. So all of a sudden, you know, bank accounts getting closed, you know, certain phone numbers, you know, disconnected, all this stuff, you know, that was happening, you know, back to back. And I was always wondering why, you know, if you feel like you don't know nothing, why are you worrying about what, what's been said to me or what, you know, what you've been, you know, telling folks, you know, because there's certain videos I've watched that people talk about my dad. And there are certain things that, you know, it sound like, you know, they were like, oh, well, we did an interview with such and such and such. And the family said she was taken care of. And I'm just like, hold up, wait a minute, what? <laughs> you know, I wasn't being taken care of. If this is their version of taking care of me, I, you, neglect me. <laughs> you know, neglect me all the way. So there are certain things that has popped off in my, my life that, you know, was very jaw dropping. You know, I, I was pissed off at people because they kept on trying to get into that you know, trying to block me from getting home. And I'm just like, you know, how would you feel if somebody kept you away from your family on purpose? You know, because they found out, you know, your dad was like a celebrity or whatever. How would you feel about that? You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want somebody doing that to you. People weren't allowing themselves to feel that way. You know, they felt me, you know, that, that was something that was too good that I shouldn't share or too good that I shouldn't be able to enjoy my life like that. You know, I, I've had my mom's friends, you know, I had to cut myself off from, you know, they knew the situation to make sure they were very hush hush, but wanted me to just talk to them. And I, I felt that with them. I was just like, my mom asked you, and that was her dying declaration for you to know, make sure she wasn't still living, you know, and was able, wasn't able to allow me to be with my family. I need you to help her, tell her the truth, you know, and she would tell certain people and they kept quiet about it. And that was a very hurtful feeling, but it's okay. I just distance myself. You know, my kids try to understand, mom, you've been talking to such and such for so many years. Why would you just cut them off? I have my reasons. I'm good. <laughs> you know, I said, it's not going to move no mountains for me, for me talking to you. You know, and it's sad. I had to cut off a lot of my family because I didn't know who knew and who didn't know. You know, I just cut myself off from family. I didn't feel, I felt very detached from them. You know, whether it was my mom's side or my mom's ex-husband's side, I just, I don't have nothing to do with y'all. And it's not the fact that I felt like I was better than anybody, but anytime somebody can sit up here and lie about somebody's life and be able to alter people's life, alter their memory, whatever you choose to do, and you don't know, you're not for sure about who knows and who don't know, just the sake of all argument, I'm going to get all y'all asses out my life. You know, this has been people, over 500 and some folks that, you know, I grew up with and I just don't talk to them no more because they felt some type of way or they ignored me about certain things, even though they knew the truth, you know, they would be able to support me behind closed doors, but didn't want to say nothing in the public. You know, it's just like, it's cool. We ain't got to deal with all, you know, when anybody want to pick and choose, that's why I tell y'all, you never allow somebody to enter your life that want to love you with limitations. I, I don't have time for people to love me. Oh, well, I'll love you if you're not doing better. Or, you know, when they see you as competition, they don't want to deal with you. Or they'll support you as long as they know that they can keep that foot in the door to where you can't open it. You know, those are the times you need to start paying attention to your circle. You know, because a lot of times people don't. I hear it so many times, even on, you know, Facebook. 
not Facebook, but YouTube. It, it's just like when some of these YouTubers get big, you know, some people get in their feelings about that. You can't fault that person if they want to do something better, if they want to be able to live good or whatever. Now, if it's on if it's some deceitful stuff, then I can understand you being in your feelings. But if you know this person deserves that because they worked their butt off, you can get mad at stuff like that. But it's like anytime you know you're heading towards stuff, you have to be very selective about what you put out because you don't never need to know the left hand know what the right hand is doing. You know, you can't be able to tell people, hey, this is what I'm about to do because you never want them to get that gateway to where they feel like they can interfere. It's either their energy or they're delivering on doing some stuff. So that's the reason why you got to keep stuff to yourself. And I had to learn that. <laughs> I learned that, you know, from a bad experience on people doing that. You know, people are like, oh, what you thinking? You know, and then be asking me. And then I'm like, I don't know. But it's such a thing. You know, my dad be like, shh, don't say nothing. And then I wasn't putting two and two together why he said don't say nothing. And then, then it's just like, next, you know, I'm still wondering why I'm at home. So it's just like me. I don't even stay focused on it anymore. You know, I just go ahead and do my videos. Help people where I can help people. Do where I need to be, you know, I do what where universe is placing me. You know, I work on that. So I don't be worried about stuff like that. Because, you know, if things are meant for you, nobody can't stop that from happening. They might be able to slow it down. And God forbid if those are the ones that slow it down. Because their karma is going to be something kind of bad. <laughs> you know, it's something kind of bad. And, you know, and I said, I don't even wish nothing on nobody. I just wish whatever you you got going on, you be able to succeed or whatever. When you know what's for you, meant for you. So you allow yourself to keep what you need to keep to yourself you say what you need to say or whatever like that but if you feel like you know you're heading towards something and you know somebody trying to block you don't give them that energy for it to be able to come in you know come into play you know if you know you're focusing on your dreams and your blessings that you're working hard for guarantee you when God's ready for it to happen no mind that they ain't gonna, that <laughs> your blessing gonna come open that door is gonna open where nobody nobody can't shut so you don't be worried about that, but don't put your energy on, you know, on whoever is trying to block your blessings and don't be able to give them something that they can be able to block. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you. I'm going to go ahead and give me a post notification. Shout out to Miss Keisha. Much love to you. I hope all is well. And, uh... Uh, Robert Cole and Ray Fisher much love to you as well and I will see you on my next video like and subscribe drop me a line let me know if you resonate um you know share give me a thumbs up subscribe hit that that bell and I will see you on my next video know that you are truly blessed highly truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better day I pray for y'all each and every day I hope and pray that y'all get everything that you are working hard for and for the people that are miserable about you, hey, I pray for them as well. <laughs> so I will see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better day. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.